In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Windows 11, create a bootable USB drive, and I'm also going to be showing you guys how to install and activate it. So without wasting any more time, let's get it. This video is sponsored by us, so if you like our content and would love to support the channel, please head over to teesprings.com forward slash stars forward slash LMTechHD or click on the first link in the description box below to be a part of the Wemo squad. Thanks. What's up guys, I'm Ryan from LM Tech HD and on this channel we do a lot of tutorials slash tech reviews and giveaways just like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Oh, and one of our goals for 2021 is to hit 2K subscribers by the end of the year. So if you enjoy our content and you aren't subscribed to the channel already, please do us a favor by hitting the cute red button down below and the bell icon next to it so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks. Okay guys, in order for us to download Windows 11 and create a bootable USB drive, we are going to need a system with internet access and we're also going to need a USB flash drive that is at least 8GB in size. Alright guys, first thing we want to do is to connect our USB flash drive to the system with internet access. And guys, be sure to back up the USB flash drive if you have important files in it because the drive will be formatted. Okay now, go to Google and search for Media Creation Tool for Windows 11. Under the search result, click on the Microsoft link and it will take you to this page. Anyways, the link to this page will be in the description of this video. Alright, once you get to this page, look for Create Windows 11 Installation Media and under that, click on the Download Now button to download the Media Creation Tool. Once the download is complete, go to the downloads folder and double click on the media creation tool to run it. Accept the license agreement. Now here you can change the language by unchecking this box. However, I'll advise you use the recommended option. So I'm gonna check the box and click next. Okay now since we are gonna be creating a bootable USB flash drive, we are gonna select the first option. However, if you want the ISO file, say you want to burn it to a DVD, then select the second option. Alright, I'm gonna select the USB flash drive cause that's what we want and click next. Now select the USB drive you want to use and click next. It will start downloading Windows 11 and once the download is complete, it will create the installation media so sit back and let it do its thing. This may take a while depending on your internet speed. Anyways, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit cause we are busy folks. Click finish and you're done. Congratulations, you've successfully created a Windows 11 bootable drive. Next, we're gonna be installing Windows 11. But hey, if you're getting value out of this video, then do me a favor by smashing the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you're feeling pumped, then go ahead and share it with your friends as well. Thank you. Now, question of the day. Does your system support Windows 11? Ooh, that's a tough one. Anyways, let us know in the comment section below. Alright, now hook up the USB flash drive to the system you want to install Windows 11 and restart it. Keep pressing the delete key until it boots into the BIOS or UEFI. Navigate to the boot menu and under the boot option, select the USB flash drive and hit F10 on your keyboard. Click save to save changes. Now the system should restart and boot to the installation window. Anyways, in my case, I'm gonna hit the F11 key to go straight to the boot menu, which will prompt me to select the device to boot from. So I'm gonna select the USB flash drive and hit enter on the keyboard to boot from it. All right, it's time to install Windows 11. Click next. Install now. Click I don't have a product key. Oh, and don't fret guys, I'm gonna show you how to activate it later on in the video. Now here you can select the flavor of Windows 11 you want to install. In this case, I'm gonna select Windows 11 Pro and click next. Accept the license terms and click next. Select custom install windows only. Alright, here you can select the drive you want to install windows on and also format as well as create partition. So let's do that. Now I'm going to be installing Windows 11 on the D drive which is a 1TB hard drive. So I'm going to select it and click format. 
Now, if you have only one drive in your system and you want to split slash create a partition for backup, you can do that here by clicking new. However, in this case, you can see that that option is disabled. So what we need to do is select the drive and click delete. Click OK. Now the new option should be enabled. With the drive selected, click new. It will prompt you to specify the size of the partition you wish to create. In this case, I think I'm gonna go with 250GB. Once that is done, click apply and click OK. So now we have a 250GB as well as a 683GB drive. Now as you can see, the 683GB drive is an unallocated space at the moment. But that's ok cause I'm gonna be showing you guys how to assign a drive letter to it so we can use it as our backup drive after installing Windows 11. Now I'm gonna select the 250GB drive cause that's where we want to install Windows 11 and click next. Ok now it should start installing so sit back and let it do its thing. Once the installation is complete, the system will restart. As soon as the system restarts, remove the USB flash drive so it doesn't boot back to the installation window. All the files have been copied to the drive we selected so we don't need the USB flash drive from this point on. Now it should boot to the Windows setup screen. Alright guys, it's time to set up Windows 11. From here on, it's all about personal preference, so I'm just gonna select what I want. Congratulations guys, you've successfully installed Windows 11. Ok guys, it's time to activate Windows 11. But first, we need to get a license key. To do that, click on the second link in the description of this video. Now remember we installed Windows 11 Pro, so that's the key we are gonna get. However, if you installed Windows 11 Home, then click on the third link in the description of this video. And remember to use the promo code to save an extra 18% at checkout. Once you get to this page, click the add to cart button, go to the shopping cart, proceed to checkout. Copy the promo code in the description of the video and paste it in the promo code field and click apply to get an extra 18% off. Click submit order and enter your payment details. Once you've successfully purchased your license key, go to your profile. On the left, click on my purchased orders and down here you should see a get the key button. Click on it and your Windows 11 license key should show up here. Copy the key and on your Windows 11 desktop, click on the start button and go to settings. Click on activation. Now click on change. Paste the license key in the text field and click next. Click on activate and you my friend are golden. Alright guys, remember that 683GB partition we created during the installation? Right, it's time for us to assign a drive letter to it so we can use it as our backup drive. To do that, click on the Windows slash start button and type hard disk. Click on create and format hard disk partition. Here you can see the drive is unallocated, so to assign a drive letter to it, simply right click on it and click on new simple volume. The new simple volume wizard will pop up, click next. It will ask you to specify a size and since we want to use the entire space, I'm gonna leave it as it is and click next. Here you can assign any drive letter to it but I'm just gonna leave it as G and click next. Under volume label, you can specify the name of the drive. I'm gonna name mine games and click next and finish and we're done. Now when we go to file explorer and this PC, you can see the drive listed and now we can use it to store our files. 
Okay guys, if this video was helpful to you, then go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, drop a comment, share it with your friends, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and all that good stuff at LMTechHD02. And if you would like to support the channel, then head over to teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash LMTechHD, or click the first link in the description box below. We have more videos coming your way, but for now, we maxed out. Peace.